I've wanted to make a video about the workshops in 76 for a while now, but found I just didn't have the time to work on it. I finally got a little ahead with my current projects, so figured I'd spend the day researching just how the workshops functioned, and seeing what all the pros and cons to them were. Workshops are littered all around the map, and you'll often see a quest pop up telling you to either claim them or clear enemies from them if you get too close. These are very small and quick side quests that yield a few minor rewards and a small amount of XP. Claiming a workshop costs a small chunk of caps and allows for other players to engage you in free PvP. Once it's claimed, you get another small reward and often unlock new plans for items you can build. This might be the best reason to claim workshops, as actually using them to gather resources doesn't work that well. Once you've claimed the workshop, you can then start building resource gatherers and set locations. The resource extractors themselves are pretty cheap to create, but they require 10 power to get them working. You could power it with a pair of medium generators or a single large generator, but both of these are somewhat expensive to build for what you get back. A single large generator costs 2 ceramic, 5 copper, 6 gears, 4 rubber, 5 screws and 12 steel. All of this is spent to power one resource collector. Alternatively, you can do what I do and build windmills to power everything. These cost 10 aluminum, 4 copper, 2 gears and 15 steel. This at least provides some flexibility for what resources you want to use, but it's still a little expensive for what you'll likely get back. Keep in mind that you can use the contractor perk to reduce the cost by either 25 or 50%, but even then it's not as cheap as you might want. Chances are, whilst you're building up your workshop, it will come under attack. These attacks rarely seem too dangerous, and I found they even provided a decent bit of junk, at least compared to what I tend to get from workshops themselves. Additionally, it's another quest complete, so there's a little XP and some minor rewards given to you. I haven't been able to test this out fully, but so far it seems that a Defend event will start a few minutes after you've claimed the workshop, and once you finish that Defend event, there seems to be another one that starts a little after an hour later. This means you have to semi-regularly defend the workshop in order to ensure it stays under your control. On to the key part of why I'm disappointed with workshops, and that's down to the resource collectors themselves. I left a concrete extractor, black titanium extractor, and a junk extractor alone for an hour. When I came back, I got 10 black titanium ore and 33 concrete scrap from those two extractors. This was pretty disappointing for two reasons. First up is the fact that this isn't a lot of resources. At first I assumed this was purely down to the fact that the rate at which junk was gathered was slow, but it turns out there's also a limit to how much the extractors can hold. I had maxed out the capacity on these, and they had just stopped gathering after that. On top of that, the black titanium extractor digs up ore instead of the scrap itself. This then means you need to head to a chemistry workbench and combine the ore with acid in order to turn it into usable scrap. 10 black titanium ore ends up yielding you 6 black titanium scrap, and leaves a single piece of ore left over. This is inconvenient, and just adds to how slowly you gain resources. I tend to only play for a few hours at most if I'm playing solo. As soon as I log out or switch character, I've suddenly lost my workshop that I invested a bunch of resources into. Now, you may well be wondering why I didn't mention the junk extractor, and what I got from that. The reason is that this is the one resource gatherer I would say could be worthwhile. From the hour I had left it alone, it had yielded two ceramic scrap, one fibre optics bundle, one fiberglass spool, three loose gears, four loose screws, three moulded plastic, two raw cloth, one raw rubber, and two waste oil. This isn't a huge amount of junk, but the variety is what's key here, as well as the fact that it wasn't actually maxed out on capacity. Chances are at least one of these items is something you find yourself constantly in need of. For me, it's normally screws, so this makes the junk extractor actually worthwhile for me to build. That said, it still isn't anything to write home about. You can easily get much more junk just by adventuring around and picking up whichever items you come across. This is the main reason why I don't think workshops are all that great. Their primary purpose is a safe area for you to gather resources and build a base, but you almost certainly use up more resources than you gain back. For a very long play session as part of a team, this could be worthwhile, but even then, I feel it's still more worthwhile just wandering about and looking for whatever junk you need. On top of that, sometimes junk nodes or the like spawn just out randomly in the world, so you can build your own camp and build an extractor there where it's going to be safe. As it is, the main reason that I am making this video is because I feel workshops can be so much better. 
They're the main PvP areas in the game, but there's so little incentive to take and hold workshops that I've yet to see an actual fight for one. The only reason I take workshops at all now is in the hope that I'll be rewarded with a plan for something I haven't learnt yet. Increase how much the resource gatherers can hold, make them produce those resources faster, and then maybe the workshops actually become something that people will spend more time trying to hold on to. I'd love to see an actual turf war happen sometimes in West Virginia, as people fight for the safe spaces of land left around, but with the current state of things, that's not going to happen. Bethesda actually nerfed workshops a little while ago, hence why we now get ore instead of scrap. Instead of nerfing them, I think Bethesda should be trying to incentivize workshops more. There's a few unique workshops around the place, such as the ammo plant, which are worth considering taking, but pretty much all the standard ones are barely worth glancing at. What do you all think though? When playing 76, do you go after workshops, or do you think they're not worthwhile? Would you like to see them improved, and if so, how do you think they should be improved? As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.